to kick this one away, and off it goes. A short kick taken at the 18. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they will be backed up deep. Trouble here as they're going to start this drive at the six. So here are the Patriots now backed up a bit to start their first drive. They'll be led by their now 30-year-old quarterback in his eighth season in the NFL. It's Derek Carr. Here's Martin as they begin on the ground. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. a win-win but if you're on offense you'll take that kind of a run all right it was kind of stacked up found a little bit of yardage and frankly they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense the playbook is still open for the coordinator a 10-yard pickup and it's enough for a patriot first down On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. And a good job of just fighting through one tackle there to pick up about three. Second down coming up. Second down at seven. A shotgun handoff to Henry. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. We're scoreless after one. On third down, Henry. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. The script so far, run, 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 run. Five plays in, they've stayed on the ground. And now the up man has it. It's a fake. And he will not even make it back to the line of scrimmage. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. First and ten, it's Trubisky. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Oh, he's got some breathing room. He's at the 50. At the he's at the 30. 20. And he's able to get this way down deep into enemy territory. 77 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Henry. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second and just about a few inches here. Running from the gun with Henry. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, 
and you find a way to pick up first downs. They'll try and run for it with Henry. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Derrick Henry as time expires in the first half. And the Patriots have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Big decision there. They say forget the field goal and go for it, and it pays off. I wonder who was in the ear of the head coach on this one. Did he make this call on his own, or maybe the analytics coach got involved? And a lot of times you talk about that all week before the game. Hey, if we're in certain situations, analytics actually says do it this way, which might be against the norm. <laughs> and it paid off for them yeah, in a yeah. really nice way. Cashing in there on the final play of the first half. Extra point up and good by Folk. And that will take us to the end of the first half of play. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So here we go for half number two. The Patriots with the lead, and they will be getting the football. Takes it at the seven. be tackled just shy of the 25. New England trying to get a place on offense. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Henry again on second down. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A first down carry for Henry. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And Derrick Henry with the ball in his hands, what a sight to behold, because power and speed involved in every touch for him. Coming off another spectacular season with the Titans, he became the first since LaDainian Tomlinson in 2006 and 2007 to win two straight rushing titles, and he did it with style, too. Just the eighth man to top 2,000 yards and the first since Adrian Peterson in 2012. He has his sights set on another 2,000-yard season. And he goes diving to get as much as he can following a big gain. A nice little cherry on top there at the end. 142 yards rushing for him now as his big night continues. They'll run on first down. Henry, and he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. And a busy night for Henry continues. He pushes through a would-be tackler to get about three yards, second down. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven.
Now a handoff to Henry. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Second and goal now. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you say, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all because you may leave an opening that could come back and get you. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. <laughs> Trying to punch it in with Henry. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Congratulations, keep that momentum going and tackle that next challenge.